This is the trident in Agra. Hello. I have a metro detector. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks, guys. Okay. They don't. Yeah, when the metal detector goes off, if you're a foreigner, they don't seem to bother too much. There's washrooms down there. This is the restaurant forward slash cafe bar area. I've seen a very nice place to chill out and have a coffee, but unfortunately very expensive. It's about £5.20 for a coffee, which is like English prices. Um, this is the breakfast area where you come and have breakfast. They do a buffet lunch and dinner. All your breakfast is laid out there. We have found for sure the best place to have, best time, sorry, to have breakfast in India is early. They all come right at the last minute like people do in England, but if there's a lot of Indian people on holiday at the minute rather than Westerners, and this is a nice seating out area outside the pool. Over there we have a nice fountain. Let's go back in, Lenti. Yeah, it's not a huge hotel, but it's very well. It's, I think he said it was 30 years old. But yeah, they've, they've really well maintained everything and the staff are, yeah, really nice. At night time, they have the pottery classes here. This door is older than me. Yeah, that door is older than Lenin. I try not to um, talk too much in this one and just show the hotel. These are the lovely people at reception. These are things they will have at an evening, which is all free for the kids. We'll show you that now. Yeah, we'll show you in this clip the puppet show and the magic show right now. We haven't been to the kids club. Welcome back. We haven't been to the kids club because it's they've got really nice artwork on the wall. Lennon's a bit old for the kids club. This is the pool man. Hello, sir. Uh, there's really nice staff at the pool. It's a lovely pool. They bring you towels. If you ask nicely, they'll bring you a chilled water. If you just ask for water, you'll get a red hot one, won't you, Lennon? Which you don't want. There's a toilet there for the pool, which is quite cool. You have these shops in here, which there's never anyone in. I'm guessing it's very overpriced. This is the hallway. I think a lot of the rooms are very similar. They're starting to do some restorations. They're closing down in July and August. Hello, sir. Um, oh, there's a ping pong table out there, which unfortunately we didn't get to use. Down here, they have some really nice gardens and somewhere out there is Kids Club. We're in a bit of a rush to get back to our room now. And another great thing of this hotel, they let us have a really nice late checkout. Lennon likes to run down the corridor. Very kid friendly, this hotel. Ah, we didn't show him the gym. We'll cut to some clips of the gym now. Lennon's just doing some one hand slap push ups. Okay, right. That was good. 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 Well done, mate. We're going to move to some weights now. Okay, that was the gym. Um, yeah, very kid friendly. Lennon was allowed in the gym, Lennon's allowed everywhere, all the bars, all the everything. In the room we have, sorry mate, in the room we have a safe. We're in a bit of a rush because we've got to get our train safe. They have dry cleaning, which is extraordinarily expensive. It's like three pound fifty an item. You've got a spare blanket up there. You've got an iron, an ironing board. This is the bathroom. Not as big as the Taj Palace, but still nice. One of them mirrors to zoom in on your face. Decent shower. Noodle head. Ah, oh, no, that isn't a noodle head shower, actually. Like, Harold. Harold explores. Yeah, decent enough size. They give you robes, slippers, come with fresh towels whenever you want. The best thing, whenever you ask for some water, they'll bring these, which are warm. But we have a mini bar. So you can just put all your water in there, get it nice and cold. Room's a bit of a state at the minute because we've been living in it. And then we obviously don't clean it today because we check it out. You get a phone, tables. We have two twin beds that they've pushed together. 
So it's basically you should have just got a double bed really, but there you go. Um, probably comfortable. And that's the nice view. I imagine if you have a pool room, you obviously would get a pool view. But yeah, all in all, great hotel. Staff, excellent. Room service and food is very expensive for India. Just out there, there's bars and restaurants, but obviously you, you take a risk. You're probably not going to get ill in here. Buffet breakfast is very good. Yeah. All in all, big thumbs up to the... What are you doing, Len? Taking a poo? Yeah. Hopefully you ain't got Delhi Buddy as well. But yeah. Oh, on the, on the TV, you can enter your Netflix and your Amazon Prime and your YouTube. So you can watch Cold to Travel. That reminds me I've got to log out of Netflix right now. I don't want people messing with my stuff. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys. So if the kids are missing it, there is a McDonald's one minute walk down the road. There's also this place I highly recommend, which isn't a nice hotel, but it's a lovely restaurant with this view, and the food is half the price of the Trident. That's located in Taj Ganj, this place. There's a cool rooftop bar literally opposite the Trident with this lovely area you can go and eat in, kids can play. This is the pool, which was just amazing at the hotel, and this is what you come to Agra for, the amazing Taj Mahal. If you've liked this video, please do check out our playlist, our India playlist, because it goes into more detail in the Taj Mahal, these areas surrounding and other places we visited in India. And if you like it, please like, subscribe and share so we can continue making videos. Thanks.